What's going on guys? Today we're looking at the brand new legend Tony Gonzalez. Before we hop into it, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers with the subscribe button to notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content. And also do not forget to hit that like button. It'll really help this video, you know, navigate through the YouTube algorithm and get out to more people. So definitely do not forget to hit that like button. And I'll leave a link to my Twitch channel down in the description. I'll be live today during the day. I'm playing Weekend League after my second video comes out. So I'm dropping two videos today after the... um what's his name john lynch video comes out later um, i'll be live over on twitch so definitely come through if you want to watch me play weekend league and watch me probably get really mad at playing madden 21 so i definitely recommend you come through the twitch channel but yeah that's enough talking let's hop right into it all right so here is tony gonzalez he's rocking 84 speed with 72 strength 94 catching 91 catching traffic 91 spec 91 short 88 mid and 71 run block so he does not hit that medium route running threshold and for and for deep route running he's got what's he got what's he got okay 83 deep route running what's his like athleticism he's got 90 jumping okay 90 jumping on tony g this card's gonna feel amazing i'm telling you right now but will he feel that much better than jamichael finley i don't see him being that much better than finley honestly i don't think like the price difference will be worth it over finley i feel like for a little bit the prices will probably even out over time but for now maybe maybe for like the first week tony g's gonna be way more expensive than finley so all right, so for Tony's abilities today, I'm rocking red zone threat. Takes up one AP and it's improved catching versus single coverage in the red zone. I'll be playing house rules today. So every single time I throw the ball, this will probably be activated in the red zone. So red zone threat on Tony Gonzalez. It's kind of a match made in heaven, honestly, but he can get slot matic 3 AP, reach for it, which, which is pretty popular on tight ends. A matchup nightmare, another popular ability for tight ends, which is 2 AP on Tony G. So pretty pricey for that. I feel like, one, I feel like using one AP is probably as high as I would go on a tight end, honestly. Unless you're going to use tight end apprentice, because I feel like if you have Lamar Jackson, having tight end apprentice is actually a huge W for you because you're able to put a crosser and a corner out on the field. And for those who don't know, crossers are broken this year, especially on tight ends, because most of the time you're going to have an outside cornerback guarding him or you're going to have a, uh, a a linebacker guarding him. So having matchup, ha I mean, sorry, having tight end apprentice on a uh, tight end, if you do not have high route masters, a huge W. So I'm not going to lie right now. I have some very high expectations for this card. Hopefully he actually plays like the greatest tight end of all time. We're going to have to see. Let's hop right into it. Let's do it. There's no way. Wait, hold up. Hold up. There's actually no way. Before we show this guy's team off, he's got Andre Johnson, Aaron Donald, Chris Jones. But look at this. They really said ultimate legends available. Ultimate legends. Bro, EA just can't get it right, can they? Let's put Tony G on a drag route and see how that short route running looks. Um, I don't think Finley had over 90 short route running, so we got to see the separation he gets here. All right, Tony G's already open. Let's get it started. Give me the edge. Okay, Tony G's going to eat a hit stake, but it is what it is. I'm going to put Tyreek on a on a motion drag route, actually. Try to bring down Tony Gonzalez's guy. Nope, it's not going to work. Wait, hold up. I want to throw that. Should I have thrown that? Maybe I should. I may have bow, actually. Was that a dot or was that a dot? Oh, hold on, was that a dot or did I just throw it? Did I just throw a hot one or am I tripping? That probably should have been picked off, honestly. I kind of got bailed out. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Guys, let me know down in the comment section what your weekend league record was. Um, I'm very interested to see what, what, what you guys are coming out with this week. Um, I have not played any games yet, but I'll be playing them on stream today, like I said. So let me know down in the comment section what your weekend league record is so far. Um, here we go, fourth and ten. Let's see what he comes out in here. He, he's been running a lot of corner routes and post routes. Let's see what he does. Uh, runs a slant. Where's the late in route? There's the in route. We're on basically everything. He has nothing open. He might actually catch that. Okay, no, he's not going to catch that. All right, good work. Now we got to try only feeding Tony Gonzalez. And my God, my top three looks so sweaty. It's actually ridiculous how sweaty my top three looks. I'm not even going to lie. Goes to the running back. Who's it? Mark Ingram. Give me a hit stick. Okay, Honey Badger. Oh, he, he, he actually got a first down on that. That's unfortunate. Because that guy shouldn't have been that open. Oh, because when I flipped a play. That's interesting. So when I flipped the play. When I flip my defensive play. It gets rid of the man coverage on the on the running back. Is that, is, that, is, that, is that a bug or is that what it's supposed to do? All right, it's third and 13. Let's see what he does here. He subs in Lamar Jackson, right? He Because he had Russell Wilson, didn't he? Didn't he have Wilson or, or am I tripping? He definitely had Russell Wilson, right? That's a good throw, actually. Is that, it's actually not a bad idea to throw that ball to a tight end like that. I respect I respect the attempt. If I, if I, if I if Tony G, I bet, catches that. Tony, three with, Tony G with red zone threat, I, I guarantee he catches that ball. All right, what I want right now is I want solo coverage... For Tony G, I'm going to run a drag route with Tony G to start it off like we did last game. And then I'm going to try to get single coverage. 
and uh, try to try to make Tony G maul someone with that jumping, with that catching, with that spec catch, with that catching traffic, and with red zone threat, he should be glitching and he should make that play. You know, so let's see. Actually, I want to try. I want to try him on a crosser though. Let's see if he. Let's see if he gets that separation like Finley did. We're gonna have to see. Let's do it. Is he about to be open? Yeah, he's about to be open. I'm throwing it. Well, no, I don't have. I don't have red zone threat activated. I forgot about that. Then at the 25, it doesn't activate. That's unfortunate. Let's try this little corner to Tony. I'm gonna streak Tyreek. Um, and we're gonna motion him over to try to get some more separation for Tony. Let's see. Let's see what happens though. Are they calling that solo coverage? Tony G. Ah, damn. Who's that? Sherman making that play? Tony inbounds touchdown for Tony G. That's that jumping. That's that red zone threat. Tony G's already making plays for the squad. Damn, bro. <laughs> I mean, that, that's what Tony G does, though, right? I'm I'm surprised he got his feet in bounds. That catch was real nice. Let's go. We got Tony open. Let's go. Might be another touchdown. Open. Tony G. That's not even... That, that, that's just EA. I don't even know how that's still in the game through one patch or the first title update, whatever they say, whatever they're called. It's crazy how that's still in the game, bro. I'm going to run a screen, get into the red zone, Run a screen, get into the red zone, get five yards easily. Then we're going to throw a contested streak route to Tony G. Let's do it. All right, all right, good, good. All right, I might be able to actually do a corner route here. I'm going to do a corner route instead of a uh, streak route here. Let's try this uh, streak play to Tyreek. We'll see if we have, we'll see if we have Tony G on that corner. We should have it. Oh, he's on. He's on him. Oh, we got Tony G in the corner of the end zone. That should be a touchdown. Let's go. Toes and bounds. That's another TD for uh, Tony G. Let's get it, man. This, this guy's coming out here in the same exact formation that i run let's see what he's got let's do it crossers yep this guy this guy's running my same plays man he knows the vibes man he knows how broken this play is honestly he does oh good play oh give me that ball give me that ball damn blake jarwin almost just went crazy on isaiah simmons huh just not do anything stupid here he's honestly probably gonna run the ball i mean he's got yeah he has girly should it's actually a pretty good run scenario there oh damn good run by him that's a good run I gotta fill that hole. Let me take an L. Hopefully that's the only uh, loss that Adam Gase takes this weekend. All right, let's see what he does now. He's got Reek. He's got Lockett. This guy's a really good. This guy's a really good team. Oh my dude, Bly just got so glitchy right there. It's actually insane. Yo, did you did you guys see that play that Bly just made? Bly, I clicked on the Bly and I just went crazy and I somehow swerved onto him. Usually someone would kick a field goal here, but I'm gonna go for it here. I'm gonna go for it with a uh, Tony G. Hopefully we can get open. Unless this guy shut off his Xbox. Where is he at? What's he doing? Are right, he still here? G on the crosser. He's on Seau. We should get open. Tony G touchdown. Touchdown. Oh, Tony, you gotta fight for that, my guy. Tony, you gotta fight. What? Oh, there's no way he just did that to me, right? Tony, where are you going? Tony, fight. Let's go. Tony G's gonna score. What a fighter, man. What an absolute fighter. Oh my God. I'm sorry for what I said about you earlier, Tony. All right, so that's going to do it for the Tony Gonzalez gameplay. And this card lived up to the hype for sure. I believe we had a touchdown in every single game besides the first one, I think. But yeah, Tony Gonzalez is still an absolutely amazing card. But is he worth going to get right now? I don't know. Right now, it's noon Eastern time um, on Saturday. And Tony Gonzalez is going for like almost 600K. So I don't know if he's worth that price. But if he comes down to like 400K or like high 300K, I think he's worth going to get. But if you have Jamichael Finley or if you need a tight end, um, I think Finley is still the better option because of his price, but I do feel like Tony G is slightly better than Finley, but Tony Gonzalez, but uh, yeah, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn notifications, and if the video helped you out, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, and as always, I'll see you boys in the next one.